Mark. How you doing? It's Chris with Yacht Controller. Uh, I wanted to give you a brief display and kind of go over my whole sales pitch when I'm talking to somebody at a boat show, so you can see exactly you know what points to hit on and what points really hit home. Okay, uh, I'm going to start off right now, obviously, with the V2 Yacht Controller. The, you know the difference between the V2 and the Fusion, obviously, between the joystick and the individual toggle switches right here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with your V2. If you want to come over here and look at the joystick and also look at the display. What's going to happen is on your display at the boat show, you're going to have this type of display right here. And you can see you have the choice between the joystick model and the wireless remote control. Okay? So as soon as you hit the wireless remote control button, you're going to hear that auditory alarm. Okay? And what that alarm is telling you is to turn on the wireless remote control. So if you come over here, Jennifer, if you look at what I'm doing now, you hold this on button for three seconds, which is a childproof safety function, until these lights light up. Okay? Now once those lights light up, you're going to hear a second kind of slower chirp. Now what that chirp is telling you is that the wireless remote control and the receiver over here are not in unison. They're not paired and you need to pair them up, okay? Just like you would on a bridge station or a wing station, effectively transferring control from the existing helm to the wireless helm. And the way you do that is you hit this take button right here twice. So one, two, and now you can see you're good to go. And the way that you know you're connected is if you look at these lights down here, they went from a full yellow to going back and forth like that. And what that signifies is if you look at the receiver as well, you can see it has those two lights. If you look at these two antennas, the Yacht Controller system runs off a dual band frequency, which is constantly cycling every sixteenth of a second between these two different frequencies to ensure connectivity with the receiver and also to ensure that you're never, even if one of those frequencies is interrupted with, you always have that redundant safety option of the second one. Okay? And now if you look at this display here, you have to hit this confirm engage to confirm you're ready to go. So you hit that last button, confirm engage, and now you're completely ready to go. If you look at the, the model here, move it forward using your engines. You can spin it on its axis using your engines. You can do the same thing with your thrusters. It's all the same model of motion. Okay. If you wanted to switch back to either the regular joystick or to switch between the controllers, you go like this onto the display, hit the back button. As soon as you do that, you're going to hear you turn off the other controller by holding both the buttons down. Okay, automatically goes off. And now we'll go through the process on the wireless joystick. Okay? The wireless joystick essentially that has the same overall functions as the original V2, but it comes as a different package. It comes as a package with your fixed helm joystick control and the display. Okay. Now what the wireless joystick is able to allow you to do is for one hand operation. So instead of having two hands on the remote and moving your thrusters and engines at the same time, you can move the boat sideways laterally using one hand forward using your engines so it allows for single hand operation to allow your other hand to use a fender or a line or control something else on board the boat okay as far as the take command process it is the same process as the other v2 remote control it's very straightforward okay so we'll go back to our display here you see the wireless remote control button there you hit the button you hear the same auditory alarm okay with that alarm if you look at their controller here you see that on button right there. You hold the on button down for three seconds, just as you would on the other one, until those lights light up. Okay, now you see you have the solid yellow. Once you have the solid yellow, you're going to hear that slow chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Now instead of hitting a separate take button, we just use the same on off button as the take button. So you hit that twice. And now again, you can see the lights going back and forth. The alarm has stopped, you're in unison. So all you have to do is confirm engage, just hit confirm engage on the display again, and now you're completely confirmed, you're engaged and ready to go. Once you first take command with the wireless remote control known as the Fusion, you're automatically in, auto, in manual mode. What manual mode signifies is whichever way you point the joystick, you're gonna only engage your engines as opposed to engaging your engines and thrusters simultaneously. So for instance, if I point it in this diagonal way, kind of to say two o'clock, I'm only going to engage my port engine here, in turn pushing my bow to two o'clock. Okay? Same thing with the other diagonal. I'm 
only going to engage my starboard engine, engaging my, me to say 11 o'clock. Okay. Now to switch out of manual mode and to go to automatic mode, you hit this A button right here, and this green light lights up and you know you're in automatic. Okay. The difference between manual and automatic mode is that automatic is going to engage your thrusters and your engines simultaneously. So doing the same motion I did before, go to say 2 o'clock, not only am I going to engage my port engine, but also both of my thrusters. Instead of pushing my bow that way, I'm going to slide my boat right way, say to, into a T-dock or a fuel dock. Same thing like this. You move it completely laterally, it's going to engage your thrusters alone. Forward, same thing, engines only, reverse, engines only, diagonal, thrusters, and engines. Okay? Now if you look at these buttons on, the, on kind of the corners here of the joystick, you can see on the top there's a half circle and on the bottom there's a full circle. What these half circles signify is to spin the boat on its axis. Okay? And these top ones are using the engines only. So it's going to give you kind of a slow spin to port right here. Okay. Now the bottom ones, if you look at it, they're a full circle. What that's going to give you is going to use your engines and your thrusters simultaneously to give you kind of a fast spin. So instead of having to hold a couple different buttons on the other remote control, as you can see, you can just hold one button down and you'll engage all four functions. In addition, you can control up to two different anchors on board the boat. Uh, if you had some larger yachts, and even maybe an aft uh, lazarette hydraulic hatch, or maybe a swim platform if you could. We can integrate with all of those. Okay, so moving on from the, the wireless remote control known as the Yacht Controller Fusion. Again, we're going to do the same process. If you look at the display here, we're going to hit back, and right now we're going to go to the joystick. So we hit back, we turn the wireless remote control off, holding the on button down for three seconds until it goes off. And now if you look at the display again, instead of hitting the wireless remote control button, we're going to hit the joystick button. Hit the joystick, and then of course you have to confirm the engage. Hit the confirm engage, and now you're good to go. If you look at the, the boat model here and where I'm pushing the joystick, you can obviously, it's the same kind of idea as the wireless remote control. You can move it forward using your engines, reverse using your engines, Obviously, move the boat laterally using your thrusters and also spin it on its axis using your engines and thrusters simultaneously. The great thing about our joystick is if you look at here on the joystick, there's two buttons on the top. And what these buttons signify are the bow and stern thrusters. So you can have individual control of each thruster. So if you look at the boat model here and also look at the joystick, I'm only going to hold down this top button, which is in, in turn only going to control my bow thruster. Okay? Same thing if I hold the back button. Hold the, the bottom button down here and push it to port. I'm only going to engage my stern thruster to port. So if you had a, a breeze coming over and you just wanted to push your nose over, that's all you had to do. Is just push it over like that. It's very straightforward. And again, if you wanted to come in and look at the display again, right now we're in automatic mode, which is in turn going to engage your engines and thrusters simultaneously. If you wanted to go to manual mode, you can just hit this button and automatically you're in manual mode, just like that. And if you look at the display here, again, forward and reverse using your engines, the same thing. But if I do diagonal, I'm only going to engage my port engine as opposed to engaging my thrusters and my engines. So again, to come back out of the joystick and you go back to your existing controls, you hit back here and you turn off the toggle switch on your, on your helm on the boat and you're automatically reverting right back to your existing controls. Um, again, one of the main sales pitches on the yacht controller is obviously the wireless aspect. The fact that you can leave the helm and turn eliminating any sightline issues you may have, seeing exactly how much space you have between you and the dock controlling the wind and tide, mitigating any factors of that in real time really shows the value of this product. We have over 10,000 of these installed in over 35 different countries. Uh, we've been in business now for 12 years in the, in the United States. It's a tried and true product. I 100% recommend it. Please give, give me a call if you have any questions on the video or the demonstration. I'd be happy to go over everything with you.